Hello there, welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will share how you can calculate the year to date cumulative value using one of the dates function or the time intelligence function that returns only the year to date date values in a table. So this is like a virtual table something you know it will not going to create a new table but to the function it will going to provide only those dates which are in the year to date. So that's something I will show you in a minute uh, how you can do that and uh, before that just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then uh, this link which is a Google spreadsheet link where I am keeping all of my previous videos to easily searchable manner where you can search any of my video on a specific topic or if you want to create your own playlist based on these titles then you can create it and the link is present in the column B so that you can jump it from uh, jump to those videos very easily so that is to give you the flexibility as to use the sheet or use the videos the way you want it right so make sure you bookmark this and since it is a live sheet it will have all of my future videos as well in this so with that let me move on to the power bi so here we have created if you have seen uh, my previous videos on this we have created the sales sales month to date and sales quarter to date now i'm going to create a new measure altogether so i'll just click anywhere here measure and uh, it will give me a value for measure and we will say uh, year to date sum and we will say calculate we will take a sum of order sum of sales basically sum of sales and then we will going to have the dates ytd function which will going to take not this order date which uh, on which the date has been or order has been placed like you have ordered it here but it will going to be this key which is nothing but the continuous date so this is an order date on which a transaction so this is a transactional order date let's say on any specific day if the transaction is missing then order date will be missing for that but what i have done is using the minimum and maximum of order date i have created this table using the calendar function and i'll show you in a minute how i did that but for now let me just specify the date over here and that is this order date date and uh, we were going to close this and uh, the reason it is creating an issue over here that's quickly lined red is because i have not closed the parenthesis over here all right and if i just click it this will be year to date sum so if i go down this is year to date sum and if i select and put it over here you will see that month to date will only go till this month the running total quarter to date will go further in a quarter and year will further go in a year right so that way if you see this is where the quarter is ending the first of march but the year to date values are going and uh, continuing uh, doing the running total for us so this is quarter four until the last date of december so here you are so basically you can then see how your sales or uh, have been increasing till the end of the year so that way you can create this running total for your calculation comparison kpi or for anything that you want and uh, easily get the output now how i created this order table is something for this i will go over here uh, in this data section and over here we have this order date table an order date as you will see is nothing but this output where calendar based on the calendar function i am providing the minimum order date and maximum order date and you are getting the based on this minimum and maximum range you are getting all the dates in that range right so if you have any scenario where you need to create this type of tip you can create it and then we are doing nothing but joining this date to order date over here in the orders table and that's how we are then getting the outputs that's a small configuration that you will need to do if you want to achieve this output so with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.